Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. One footnote, our new program, NeuroNuts, is now archived on our website, the home page, the viewing screen down there in the center. So I'd appreciate if you haven't seen it, take a look, give us some feedback. It's our first show, so we have a lot more to come on that. With our tune-up today, I realized by talking to many of you through email and text messaging across the country that right now there's an extremely unusual energy going on with just about everything. There's this high expectation of good and almost a high expectation of evil. And realize those are polarities. One really cannot exist without the other. So what do we do with that? If you're one of the people that I've been talking to that is concerned about what's happening in your life, what's happening with the future, and you're concerned about your children and the future that they're looking at right now with debt, with all the crises, and they seem like they just seem to come more and more all the time. You know, there's a lot of crises going on when the lights go out in a major league Monday night football game. That's never happened before. So <laughs> that's an indicator of anything can happen, right? When they shut off football. Seriously though, one of the things we have to pay attention to is what's going on with our own thoughts. I am a firm believer that what we think collectively as human beings around the world kind of steer what the outcomes are going to be. We call that mass consciousness. A lot of what's going on right now with some of these strange feelings are the incongruities of many people feeling optimistic about the future and many people not feeling optimistic about it. I think we're in a balance right now. And with the presidential elections coming up and we're hearing, we're hearing news all the time about all the evil things going on within our own federal government and spying on people, abducting people, and so on and so forth, I'm really going to encourage you to focus on the outcome you would prefer. And I think one place to start is world peace, but also peace within each one of us. World peace starts with each one of us finding peace. And what is peace? Does it mean every day is butterflies and roses? No, what peace is, is you can manage anything that comes to you knowing you will get to the other side of it. That gives you a sense of peace. Peace is not having things always go correctly or nothing ever goes wrong. Peace is a capability and a resource that lies within each one of us that gives us the opportunity to understand as a human being we have infinite possibilities. We have to really start training ourselves to look at those possibilities and how to exercise new resources in each one of us. That's called the situation of requisite variety, where you have a variety of resources to call upon at any one given time, rather than maybe just one or two in certain situations. So for us to manage all this energy that's flying around right now, as we come into a brand new year, I think it's important for us to learn how to find peace within ourselves amongst all the chaos. Once you can do that, your mindset is going to be so that you're going to be part of the contributors to a peaceful life for all of us. And also we could head off some impending disasters that otherwise may happen because people are in torment and they're not focused and they're worried and afraid and that's what the energy is focusing on. So you can have a lot to do with it. So today, moving into this Christmas weekend and then into a new year, and as we're in the middle of Hanukkah right now, I think it's time for you to allow peace in your life. Allow yourself to focus on the flexibility it takes for you to feel like you're in control. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, peaceful kind of day. Bye-bye.